Namaste and welcome. This is Arshna here with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming each and every one of you to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a reading here for the Divine Masculine Collective for the 8-8 gateway or the portal that is opening up. Now this 8-8 Lionsgate portal is bringing in a lot of upgrades to our DNA. This shows up as light codes, this shows up as downloads, as activations. Now for some of us it's going to be felt at a very large scale like an overall, a change in a relationship, a change in a job, a relocation, something of that sort. And for others this is going to show up in a very subtle, in a very subtle way and in this subtle way you are opening up to greater levels of light and you'll begin to automatically alchemize lower vibrations. So you'll sense this great spiritual initiations with this 8-8 gateway activation. So if you're the holder of the Divine Masculine Energy, resonate with that vibration, this is a reading for you. Let's go straight into the reading. We're going to first look at what is an upgrade that is now available to you? Let's have a look at that. Upgrade for the Divine Masculines that's available with this 8-8 activation. Thank you. Upgrade available for the Divine Masculines. Upgrade available for the Divine Masculine Collective. Thank you. <clears throat> Dear Divine Masculines, this is a time for really looking at bringing things in balance. This is a great time for celebration. This is a great time for connecting emotionally with others. This, this is the upgrade that's available for you. If you have been working only from your logic mind, only from the left brain, the, this 8-8 gateway is opening you up, is bringing you back home, is bringing you back to home, meaning it's taking you back and bringing you to wholeness. We have the 1111 Take Me Home Gateway, Pathway to True Love. Some of you are opening up to true love. And the true love first, before it shows up in the physicality, it has to show up within yourself. You have to connect back to your own heart self to your own heart source. So this upgrade is opening you up to be more harmonious. So not to be very aggressive, not to be always wanting to have the last word, always wanting to prove yourself. You're, you're not needing to prove yourself. This is the time for, for coming together, for understanding, okay, for forgiveness, for more compassion with the Three of Cups here and the Libra energy. Libra energy speaks of balance. It speaks of balancing different polarities. It speaks of balancing mind and the heart. It speaks of balancing work and life. It speaks of balancing your material needs to your spiritual growth. It speaks of uh, balancing how you are communicating at your workplace, how you're communicating at home, how you're con communicating with a love partner, how you're communicating and communing with the earth. How are you fair and considerate to Mother Earth? How are you fair and considerate and connecting to the higher dimensions? Okay, so I'm sensing here the Libra energy. That is a big upgrade. Finally, things coming to balance if things have felt a lot of out of whack. That's what I'm hearing. And we have an 1111 activation here. And it says, take me home. And the heart has golden wings on it. This 8-8 gateway is clearing out and opening the pathway to true love. But the journey must be made by you to delve into the depths of your own heart. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, angels. Now let's look at how is this energy going to be amplified. This energy is for sure going to be amplified.
How is this energy going to be amplified for the Divine Masculine Collective Angels? Thank you. We have the Hermit. How is this energy going to be amplified? Thank you. How is this energy going to be amplified? Thank you. How is this energy going to be amplified for the Divine Masculines? Thank you, angels. Oh my gosh. Thank you for this <laughs> massive reconfirmation and confirmation. How is this energy going to be ampli amplified, my friends? And we, I want to first start with the last card that came in, and that is the justice. Again, it is the scales of balance with the Libra energy. And this is the major arcana given to Libra. So with Libra really showing up very strongly, this 8-8 eight, eight gateway divine masculines is going to amplify a balance in your life. So this can, like I said at the beginning, this can completely show up as a major overhaul in your life of a complete shift in direction in the way you view love, in the way you experience love, in the way you express love, or completely which means shifting in relationships or for you, for some of you, it would be completely shifting out of a career. I'm seeing two scales of balance here. So there's definitely justice. Okay. So where you have been just, where you have been putting in your good energy, where you have been honorable, okay, where you've been honorable, you've held your integrity, you've held high moral standards, all of those are coming up, okay, so all of those are coming up, trigger warning here right now, so for those of you who have upheld that, coming from a divine place of understanding, okay, of respect, of respect, of honor, I'm hearing honor, valor, integrity, honor, valor, integrity, like a knight's energy, you know, the knighthood energy, standing up for those who cannot stand up for themselves, upholding the truth, being just and fair in dealings, being just and fair, being honest. Honesty is coming up very big, being loyal. Okay, so loyalty, honesty. This is going to be amplified for you with this 8-8 eight, eight gateway. Okay, so if that is something that you've been struggling with, it's going to amplify. So there's going to be a polarization where you can starkly see that this is completely unfair or what I've been doing is completely unfair or what has been happening to me has been completely unfair and that will begin a new journey my friends okay so in this process what's going to be amplified is going to be two things one is going to be trust we got the four four activations okay we have the 4-4 activations. Let's bring up the light a little bit here. With a 4-4 activation over here, it's talking about trusting. Trusting your heart. Okay, so they're, they're showing like the heart symbol on the heart. And over here, the heart had wings. Okay, this is where the upgrade is available that you want to be taken home. You want to be taken towards a place of balance. So what's going to be uh, amplified is going to be trusting your heart. It's going to be trusting your intuition. When you're asking something, you need to be ready to listen to something you need to allow for things to happen and not allow the normal which is what your normal your normal stand would be to take action let's go let's move forward okay i've asked for it uh, you may skip the listening part of it and go straight into the movement and with this gateway activation it is ask listen and allow ask listen and allow and there's a different process. This is the energy of two. This is the energy of the divine feminine. Because what is going to be amplified is going to be the moon, my friends. And the moon speaks of nurturance. It speaks of it speaks of the emotional charge or the subconscious mind is going to be activated very, very strongly. So all of you divine masculines are in different stages of awakening, are on different stages of going inward, going to your own home. 
okay what's also going to be activated and highlighted is going to be a desire to satisfy your own emotional need what gives me that nurturance what gives me the emotional satisfaction that's why for some of you this will be felt in a radical way of completely shifting relationships and completely shifting jobs or career career path completely taking on a completely uh, a different role i'm seeing like you were on a certain train and you were going from destination a to b and boom at a mid stop you completely get off that train and you're taking another train and now you're heading to a new destination that's what i'm seeing over here that's what's going to be amplified your ability to trust your heart your ability to trust your intuition your ability to trust the unknown is going to be highlighted okay um uh, let me move these cards here before they fall down now what's also going to be highlighted with this 88 my friends is going to be your inner journey with the hermit the hermit speaks of isolation speaks of alone time speaks of giving yourself enough time away from the distractions of the world away from going out away from actively doing doing and doing because you're integrating now the balance the feminine aspect of you which is receptive which is compassionate which is forgiving which is understanding which is not about charging forward but it is about waiting to receive waiting to receive hearing waiting to hear the guidance waiting to to see the guidance so this is going to be your amplification is really going to be about going inward okay going inward about what has been just have i held upheld the truth have i upheld what my heart really feels or have i been doing what others have told me to do big 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 amplifications my friends of this aa gateway for you the third one what area of your life is going to uh, you're going to experience great amount of synchronicity with this 88 gateway what area of their life angels thank you what area of their life will they experience great synchronicity thank you i am not surprised this completely makes sense meaning logically sense <laughs> okay okay divine masculines the area of your life that is going where you're going to begin to see synchronicity is going to be in the 12th house okay your 12th house let's fix this your 12th house 12th house in zodiac is we start we start our journey in the first house okay as a soul and then we have 12 houses there 12 aspects of learning and the 12th house all relates with spirituality so it's like completing a full circle completing a full like you know you have 12 months in a year so it's completing a full astrological understanding going through different aspects and really honing in on it's like you giving an exam of everything that you have learned okay we have all been there done that so what where you're going to begin to see the synchronicities is going to be in spirituality suddenly you're beginning to be in the right place at the right time you were searching for some information and it pops up on your news feed it pops up uh you meet a person you may be random you're at a grocery store you're at a networking event you're at a family event but hanging out with friends and you see something on tv or you hear a conversation that's very very resonant that's very very pertinent to something that you were seeking something that you were looking to something where you were asking a question or perhaps you didn't realize but you hear that and you realize that that is what i was looking for and you may be thinking of someone and that person calls you and you realize oh that was interesting or you begin to see number synchronicities okay a lot of number patterns a lot of you have come to my channel watching my 555 1010 1212 12, 12 videos and other videos uh which were about number synchronicities and awakening so there's going to be a lot of synchronicities in the 12th house which is about karma you're going to begin to recognize this is not surprising because justice speaks of karma this definitely speaks of karma maintaining and upholding karma you begin to realize okay you begin to see the synchronicities for the thoughts that you have put out in the past and how it's showing up now you're going to begin to tie out how do how do i put it 
How do I put it, angels? So it's like a jigsaw puzzle. And you know, there are like so many pieces. Initially, you've got to start somewhere, right? You got to start somewhere and then then the picture starts to form and then you're able to see a, a piece and you know exactly where it goes. So this feels like the 12th house right now is feeling like you're putting the jigsaw puzzle together. Jigsaw puzzle of your entire life, of human race, of the environment, of the political structure, of the religious structure, whatever that may be. Whatever that may be for you, it'll be different for different people. So it's like you're putting, you're looking at the macro, you're looking at the macro and you're seeing how you as a as an individual in a micro form how are you part of this macro and how are you impacting the macro environment and how is the macro reflecting back to you your internal space you're going to be able to that's where you're going to see the synchronicities number three is also highlighted over here we got the three here and we got the three here Okay, we're starting with the availability of three, three of cups. What's going to be amplified and where you're going to see the synchronicity is going to be in the physicality. And we got the three of pentacles. So you may be seeing the numbers three, 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 four, 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 eleven, eleven. 11, 11 for sure is what I'm I'm seeing over here. You're going to begin to see that. You have been seeing it. It's going to be an amplification because we've got the justice here and we've got the 11, 11 here. So you got 11, 11, 11, triple 11s over here. And if I look at the threes here, they look like all the 11s. So where you're going to see this amplification and, and where you're going to see this synchronicity is going to be in um, in your work environment, wherever you work. OK, so whether you're working at home, OK, you're working at a job, you're working with other people. OK, so I see that you're going to begin to see that you when you're talking, you're shedding some light um, or you're helping other people. Okay, people are looking to you. Somehow they're coming to you. You're the to-go person. You're the person people uh, want to approach for coming, uh, you know, getting a balanced um, advice from. They feel that you have, you have what it takes and you seem like a very balanced person and you'll give them an unbiased opinion, unbiased pathway forward. I'm, I'm hearing unbiased. So it's going to show up in your work. Okay, so this is really going to show up in your work and you're going to perhaps shed some understanding of your own spiritual journey, your own spiritual understanding because you've done some inner work because this is going to boom, activate the hermit within. So suddenly a lot of things are going to come to light. When things come to light, you begin to share that light with others or people will ask you, how did how did you do that? Uh, how did you manage to do this? How are you able to manage your finances and do this and do that? What are you doing that's different? So your ways, your techniques, that's where you're going to begin to see the synchronicities that wherever you're needed, it's going to show up. Okay, so this is definitely at your work and also at networking events is what I am seeing here. Now let's look at the next, what are you leaving behind? Like anything, when you're going on a journey, you're going on an upgrade, my friend, there are some things you're gonna need to leave behind. So let's look at what you're leaving behind. What are the Divine Masculines leaving behind, angels? No. This one. Ah, thank you, angels. That makes complete sense. So what you're leaving behind, we got the High Priestess and we got Chiron. Chiron is hurt and heal. What you're leaving behind is the hurt you have had with the feminines. The hurt you have had with... Perhaps in the past you listened to the, you, 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 you had people who manipulated you. Let's start with this. You, you have people in your life who manipulated you, use their psychic gifts or use their intuitive powers to, um, for their own selfish, for their own selfish uh, needs from coming from a place of self-centeredness, perhaps um, what you're leaving behind is that what I don't know, I really don't care and I don't want to know anymore. 
Uh, because the more I know, the more it's going to hurt me. So it's better. So the avoidance is I'm picking up avoidance. I'm picking up like it's better that I don't touch upon it. It's very painful. So the pain that you've experienced, which is hidden, which is really in your subconscious. And because what you're owning up is with the moon energy, because this is an amplification. All feminine energies have come here. Feminine energy here. The moon energy is feminine here. The 12th house speaks of spirituality. Okay. So um, what you're leaving behind are perhaps past stories and perhaps past understandings of what psychic information is, what going into the subconscious is, what the feelings say. Should I really look at the feelings at all? Okay. So you're healing from that because perhaps you were taught in the past only to look at what makes sense, what you can see in the sun. It's hard to see what's in the dark, so just let things be. So you're leaving that part behind. You're leaving the part behind where you were misguided, <clears throat> <clears throat> where you were not allowed to speak up, where you didn't express how you truly felt, but you followed a certain path a certain path that certain train but you have to understand that this with Chiron this is what you incarnated in this life with <clears throat> to heal that aspect to heal the feminine energy to heal the sacral energy because I'm feeling such a blockage of the energy moving up into the throat and with the throat chakra it is related here with how we allow for our authentic truth to come with blocked emotions or with blocked feminine energy whether we're male or female we're not able to sense and see we're not able to see beyond the veil we are living in the hurt we're living in the in the pain we are living in the past pain and trauma you're leaving that behind okay you're leaving that behind and now you're ready to embrace this feminine side we have the moon here and the moon here that's why this is going to be amplified the mysteries are going to be amplified you're going to be ready to go into so this is like you know what this is feeling like this is like the um hero's journey where the hero first refuses the call and then there is a call to adventure. This is the call to adventure, my friend. Okay, this is the call to the great adventure. I'm ready to descend into my heart. I'm ready to descend and face the demons that I feel. And I put them in quotes, okay? So our dark sides, our shadows that I'm afraid of. I'm afraid to traverse the pain. I'm, a, I'm afraid to look at the pain for what it is. But the journey to light is through that. And it is just to see through it, feel that out and then let that go. <clears throat> it's going to help you clear up your throat chakra. Now, what are we looking at? Now we are going to look at how are you now aligning more fully with your life path, with your life mission? How are you fully aligning with that? Let's have a look at it. Let me make some space. How are you aligning with your mission, Divine Masculines, with this 8-8 eight, eight portal? How are the Divine Masculines aligning more with their mission angels? How are they aligning more? Thank you. Oh, how beautiful. Thank you. How are the Divine Masculines aligning more with their mission? Thank you. How are the Divine Masculines aligning more with their mission? Thank you. How are the Divine Masculines aligning more with their mission? How are the Divine Masculines aligning more with their mission? Thank you. Let's have a look. Synergy. Card number seven, Root Chakra Possessions.
yang wonderful oh my gosh ace of pentacles the yang energy and what do we have over here and we got another four four transformation battle of head versus the heart i said that somewhere along the journey of the reading right like this is aligning your head and the heart and this how you're aligning with your mission is this through this transformation of this battle of the heart versus the head there's a new start my friends divine masculines with this synergy as you take as you make this hero's journey because you're a hero as you make this journey going inward okay facing facing and battling those demons and integrating the darkness being fearless in looking at looking at the emotions okay not not pushing them aside not not burying them to to the other end of the earth you're pulling them out you're ready to face them because you're strong you're resilient and you're capable and you want to move home okay you said that take me home take me home i want to go home i want to go to love okay i want to go to love your, your heart has said that and the pathway to true love is is through this journey this journey must be made divine masculines this inner journey through spirituality through facing your fears must be made and how you're aligning is a new start with this ace of pentacles this is definitely a new job okay new relationship a new venture a new uh, study okay you start maybe a new spiritual study you start a non-profit you um, start a new regimen you start to see things from a different perspective but this is something practical that you're instituting in your life this is not just something i just say something this is something that's practical that is out here so this can also be a mentorship that comes in because i'm feeling mentorship over here um, maybe you start working on healing with a healer okay maybe you start um social service somewhere so this is something in the physicality of where you are physically doing something with this but with the ace of pentacles this is a new idea a new partnership a new start that is coming to you which is very much in alignment with your soul mission because you're going you're going inward and you're trusting your heart so no longer with this battle of the heart there is a transformation because there's going to be a synergy of the heart and the head and that is where the unity is that is where the union is that is where the union to true love is this makes you it takes you back to wholeness now the frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of the not so obvious acceptance of the not so obvious of the high priestess here uh, never seen before okay you're leaving that behind okay now you're now you're allowing and accepting the not so obvious the never seen before and this never seen before combinations and unions because we are seeing the pathway to true love you're uniting the unseen with the seen why am i saying that because we have the yang here which is your energy the yang is the masculine energy of taking up uh, being proactive okay of expression of doing of moving forward but here you're not moving forward mindlessly or just with the mind you're moving forward with intuitive guidance and you're understanding the feminine aspect you are seeking guidance okay receiving the guidance with the divine feminine energy within you that receives the divine guidance that allows for the energy to flow through that allows for that to flow through before taking action not just taking action because the mind says it looks good we should do it and that's what we do no you listen to your heart and that my friend is a union that my friend is true love okay finding that balance in your heart so you are aligning what was the question how are you aligning more fully you're going to be more proactive and and more proactive in this new endeavor in this new trusting your heart okay in this inner journey in being more balanced in expressing your authentic self with integrity okay my voice my truth my words i uphold the truth okay my word is sacred so using the voice the words for balancing for bringing equality for bringing 
harmony. Not using the words for cutting or putting another or for creating a separation, but using that sword to uphold truth, to unify, to balance. So with this new thought, that's how you are aligning now to your true life purpose. Okay, and there's going to be a major transformation with lots of fours over here. We got four, 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 and the synergy here for one. One is a new start. With the Ace of Pentacles, that's a new start. And this, my friend, is the new foundation for you, Divine Masculine, as you enter this new cycle. Okay? So embracing the unfamiliar, so the new yet the exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality and that my friend is going to bring in a new way in which you are looking at finances and what you possess or your possessions your perhaps attachment to possessions is going to be now a synergy of the the physicality and the spiritual realm remember what we said as the number three was the area that's going to increase a lot of synchronicity is the 12th house the house of spirituality with the three over here this is the mind the heart and spirit okay divine masculine divine feminine working with spirit synergy of three three of cups here with the three of pentacles here this is merging the heart and the mind creating that balance and the synergy of the seen and the unseen realm because the moon and the 12th house is showing unseen okay with this sword of justice it is what is seen okay the um your action over here the forward motion over here how you're aligning with that is taking and moving forward taking the unseen and melding it with what you already know okay and i see some of you making that offer I feel like with this crystal ball and your offering and does it mean you're offering your belongings to everyone else no what it's talking about over here is that you recognize the treasure that you hold in your hand and the treasure here is not just measured by the bank balance the treasure is your deep understanding and a connection of the unseen with the seen and this my friend is going to be the start of a new financial expression a new financial a new earth Okay, so we are creating and birthing a new earth and this new earth, this new energy that you're bringing forth is laced with uh, compassion, is uh, laced with understanding of the heart and that's going to bring in a lot of blessings in your life. Thank you angels. And with that, let's have a look at the blessings that this 88 portal is bringing in your life, Divine Masculine. Thank you. Mahadev Shiva, the God of Destruction. Mahadev Shiva. This is union, detachment from life's unexpected changes and benefits from worldly enjoyment to liberation. And I mentioned that. This is the three-eyed God, Lord Shiva, who nourishes my being. May he liberate us from death for the sake of immortality as easily as one separates a cucumber from its stalk. So moksha, moksha is enlightenment, is freedom, is liberation. So liberation from your attachment, from attachment to a past version of you, attachment to the material realm. As you let go of that attachment and this amplification of spiritual energy comes in again, this is not speaking of that you are selling all your properties and you're giving all of that up and moving up into the Himalayas and, and you're becoming an Aztec. Okay, that may be something that some person does, but that's not what this energy is feeling like. This is feeling like once you let go of the title of hustle, 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 and A, B, and C must be done and I must put in 28 hours out of the 24 hours in a day, I must be working for me to be worthy. Okay. So you slow down that cycle, you come into your inner self. Apologies for the external sounds here. And as you delve into your heart and you take aligned actions from your heart, the blessings that are going to unfold for you, all that you had hoped to experience, as you, as you make the unseen world your best friend, so you, you, you become the unseen world and the seen world, merging as one now the creations you bring forth are blessed by the universe 
you're going to get like a boost. This feels like whatever you do is going to be supercharged. So let's say in the past you were putting in, how do I put it in energy words, angels? Let me see. Let me figure that out. I'm deciphering the information coming through, okay? Okay, so it's like if in the past you were putting in 10 hours to achieve to achieve let's say one goal goal a 10 hours to achieve goal a now you realize that you're only putting in two hours and you're not only achieving goal a <laughs> the next level of the goal which was goal b is also being achieved how is that possible because now technically if you look at the equation it doesn't seem to add up right uh but what's adding up is you're you're riding the wave you're riding the wave of energy you're putting in your due and you're trusting the universe to give you that extra boost to give you that extra juice and it just propels you forward so you're learning to ride the waves of the universe and that my friend is amazing okay? that my friend is an amazing blessing that is unfolding in your life i'll take a closing message for you before i close out this reading for you and what I'll do after the closing message is I will have an extended right after this. And this is the extended on my Patreon. In that, we will look at the power that is going to become your superpower. Okay. And then we're going to look at the activations from, because we're talking into the unseen realm, we're going to tap into the activations from the dragon energy, the angels of Atlantis, Lemuria, and the, the light activations. Then I will do my wonderful DNA activations and the I am affirmations for you. That would be on the extended version of this reading for those of you who want to go deeper and get these activations here. Okay, so for now, let's do a closing message from your guides. Thank you, angels. Ah, how beautiful. The angels here are giving you, uh, the uh, opening up the unicorn portal, okay, the unseen realm, the unicorn portals coming through. Focus your light and listen for a message. The message here is focus your light and listen for a message. Ask, listen, and allow for four gateway activations taking place over here. So whatever is that you are thinking of, wanting to experience, wanting to ask, listen for the message. Listening is the divine feminine energy. Perhaps in the past, you've had a hard time listening, listening to others, listening to your own self. And that is healing. And you're opening up to hearing the messages. As you open up to the unseen realm, you hear the message on how to move forward. That's how you take those steps forward. And as you take those steps forward, you actually are moving with leaps and bounds. That's such a beautiful energy coming through. Thank you so much all for tuning in. And for those of you who would like to move into the activations, I'll see you on my Patreon on the extended version for this. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you would like a personal Lionsgate portal reading, you can reach out to me. The details of that and the description box of this video. The Lionsgate portal opens up on July 26th and it closes by August 12th. So if you would like to know more about how it's impacting you on an individual level, I'm happy to do the reading for that. And for those of you who are going to be following me on Patreon, I'm going to see you there where we are going to look at the activations and do the activations. And for all of you, those whose journey ends here, I send you many blessings. May Lord Shiva bless you with enlightenment and open the doors to new ways and to wholeness. Bless you and I'll catch you in my next video.